Howdy folks, Moose here. Ever since I posted about black and white, a few weeks back, I've had a number of emails, even a phone call, ask me to explain a little bit further the one technique that I thought was my favorite. And I, I, I can understand that. You know, it's it's sometimes hard to figure it out by looking at writing. I like to learn a lot by visually seeing it more than just reading step by step. So I thought I'd create this simple little video. So here's the photograph. Beautiful Stinson 9F flying around the Golden Gate. Now you can see that it was originally a color photograph. Look over here, you can see I started off with my basic RAW file that I finished in Adobe Camera Raw. That's why there's a smart object in the corner. How I got this far, you can see in other videos on the YouTube channel or on our website. So that's where we start your basic color image finishing. Okay, Then this layer here is a very simple, that's just a sharpening of just the aircraft, Okay, sharpening for content. It's these two layers here that are the black and white wonders. So let's just talk about how we got there. Now, keep in mind that our subject is the plane. So everything I'm going to do is based on the plane, the subject. Okay. So I'm just going to go to my adjustment layer icon, the old Zen symbol there. Click on the black and white. Might not know what that little icon is. Remember, it might not have been there much. The old black and white icon. They'll give me the black and white adjustment layer, and, and there it is. And right now you can see right off the bat a quick shift into black and white. That's the default. You can see where the sliders are placed for the default and the default numbers. Okay. Now, if you're new to this, haven't done this, I'm going to encourage you to click on the drop down menu and then look at each one of them. Click on each one and see what each one's going to do to that photograph. Okay. Each one will have a different effect. I know this particular photograph that I'm going to go right to the high contrast red filter. Okay, why? Well, the plane, okay, with the red that's in it, and the clouds. Now, I want to fine tune this. Now, you could just move uh, the sliders around, hope for the numbers to change, or you can do what I like to do, and that's the what I call the owie icon. Okay, you know, that finger looks like it's throbbing to me. I'm going to click on that, and then I come down like the clouds, and I left click and hold it down I can move this back and forth on the clouds and you can see that I can change the density of that fog okay At the same time I can come over here to the water click here and I can make the water darker so you can actually do targeted changing and if I go back a lot of people don't know this if you double click on the icon in the layer you actually open up that panel again and now you can see how the numbers have changed and it says red filter modified because I have gone with the OWI icon and did targeted changes to those two tones. Okay, that's kind of pretty straightforward. This is the part that kind of gets people confused. Layers, okay, talk downwards. So this affects everything down, and this affects everything down, but it doesn't affect up. Okay, so this doesn't affect that layer. That affects this. They all affect down. So with that, we're going to sit there and we're going to create a hue and saturation layer. You can see where it's at the top of the stack. We need to make sure it goes to the below the black and white. And that's where I think people are getting st uh, are stumbling. The layer I just created, this one here, I dragged it down. So now it is below the black and white layer. Okay. Why is that important? Well, we're going to double click on the icon, pull it up. And we're going to go talk to that bad man, Hugh. I always make fun of Hugh being a real bad man. In this case, he's kind of fun. Because I take this slider and I move it around. Now remember, the subject's the aircraft. Watch just the aircraft as I move this around. Okay? See the top of the wing start to change? I mean, look at that plane. It looks like I just completely changed the paint scheme. Take it the other direction. Watch what happens. See how dynamic it becomes? And of course, the clouds are changing. Then you come back around and you can change the color of the aircraft again. But I can come back over in here. Look how I'm making the sky, the fog, and the plane all change in relationship to each other by changing that hue. And that's the beauty of this technique. You have so much flexibility. So the key here is remember when you make, you do your black and white level or 
black and white layer first. Then you do your hue saturation. And then make sure you pull it down below the black and white layer. So the black and white layer is on top. Hue and saturation underneath it. You do all your black and white work. Then you fine tune the hue. It's that simple. Don't need any plugins, but it's a real quick, quick, clean way of doing black and white in Photoshop CC 2015. And I really like it. It's my favorite way of doing black and white right now. Hopefully it helps. Enjoy.